This is Cindy Parham, Chair of Public Health and Safety, calling the meeting to order on, mon on Monday, the 21st of, Je of June at 9.41 a.m. p.m. Oh, my God. p.m. Um, we just took attendance. We have um, myself, Cindy Parham, Vice Chair Bill Perigini, President, Secretary Laura Carson, um, members Matt Ambrose, and if anyone else signs in, we'll hopefully hear from them when they sign in. So the first item that was gone over is Mark Barnhart. I'm not going to read them because we're going to save time that way because it's two pages of reading. Okay. Uh, number five. Well, which item is this? No, number five? Number, it's item number five was the first right. agenda item. And this is the applications under the Neighborhood Assistance Act, NAA. Okay. So I didn't really, I just signed in when he started talking, but he said there was like, this is a, it's already, it's already developed, it's just that they have to come to us and they have a cap of $5 million, that's all I wrote down. So, um, again, we can't yes. vote, so I'm not going to vote. So, the second thing is, I mean, unless you want to make a comment for the recording. Okay. Um, the second item is number six, which was also Mark Barnhart, which was the um, Community Development Block Grant approved for $600,000, which included 525640 of program income. And then the rest of it was, it's kind of cut off, but that the town would participate in the rest of it. Any, if anyone wants to say anything about that, he mentioned that this was the the, the program where they've um, sent out grants of over 525000 and the two that did not receive grants were the United Way of Coastal Fairfield County and the um, another group, Supportive Housing Works. So um, if there's anyone that wants to comment on any of this, please speak up. The third item was Bill Norton from WPCS. Supervisor. What number was that? Number seven, so it was five, six, okay. and now seven, okay. was the resolution um, to request $144,388 appropriated to fund the balance to complete the WPCA portion of the microgrid project. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the, the fourth item we skipped around is number nine, and that was the Cherry Street Paper Street. Mm -hmm. Okay, so does anyone want to make any comments at all about this, Scott Johnston's um, transfer? Well, I went there, I, I guess I'll make a quick comment, comment that uh, I went there today. Like, I, oh. I knew uh, uh, Scott Johnston's father, and, uh, you know, I went to uh, the, the site uh, today. I've been there before, actually, since my car got fixed around there. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the, the parcel that he's talking about is a complete eyesore. And if he's willing to maintain it and and whatever, it's it's like uh, <laughs> more power to him. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I guess I'm just uh, I'm for it because it, it. I saw it today and it, it like it was filled with like the little strip was filled with water and it was deteriorating and it's all like uh, busted up concrete and, and asphalt and whatnot. Um, it's just uh, hey, if somebody's willing to claim it and 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 say Make you know I'll split mm -hmm. whatever, then I'm 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 all for it. All right, Matt, that's a good point. Um, anyone else want to add to that, what Matt Ambrose has already offered? I, I agree I agree with Matt. Yeah, I, I agree as well. I was by there today myself and, and uh, agree uh, wholeheartedly with Matt. Good. Okay. Yeah, I've, so I've driven like, as well. I, I've driven by there. I, I, I definitely think that it makes sense to, to give him the opportunity to, to clean it up. Oh, uh, where is it? Will? Okay, since, since Will is on. Will's um, on? Go, yeah. Will's on. Nice. You can vote. So we can go back. We're going to go back to the number five, which was the Barnhart, mm -hmm. Mark Barnhart application for the NAA yeah. program. So does anyone want to make a motion? I'll make a motion. I will, Laura. Okay, okay Laura. Will. Will, we'll second. Second I'll second. I'll second. Okay. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, any abstentions? Okay, that passed unanimously. Number six was the um, 
community development block grant, which was the entitlement of grants of 525,000, which were all um, vetted by Mark's committee. Um, so I'll make a motion that we accept that grant. Anyone want a second? I'll Dr. second. Will, Laura. Okay. Will. That was first. Matt or Will? Matt. <laughs> Matt. Okay. All those in favor of the block Aye. grant? Aye. Opposed? Extensions. Okay, that carried unanimously. Number seven was Bill Norton from the WPCS regarding the $144,000 to appro and $380 appropriated to complete the, their portion of the microgrid. Uh, anyone want to make a motion? I'll, I'll, I'll second. Well, I'll, second. I'll make a motion. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll make oh, a second. second. Okay, and, I'll take this one. Okay. Okay, Laura. And all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, every, everyone's opposed. Everyone's in favor. Opposed. Sentence passes. Okay, number eight, which was number five. Actually, no, going back to four number now. Number nine. Which is, which is, yeah, number nine. Wait, what happened? Cherry Street. Cherry Street, right. Okay, so this was the resolution to, um, you know, for the abandoned paper. Paper Street, mm -hmm. and that was going to mm -hmm. be. And Matt had made a comment that he felt as though the Fairfield transmission, um, Scott Johnston's presentation was warranted and was in favor. So, Matt, did you want to make a resolution? Uh, make a motion? I, w I would. Uh, yeah. I would. Okay. And Will was going to second it. Yeah. So, I think I heard Will. All those in favor? Yes. Aye. 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 Opposed? Anyone? Abstention? Okay. Did um, Veronica or Elizabeth sign in yet? No. Okay. Okay, the next one was number um, eight. Okay, and that was to hear and consider the resolution recommended by the Board of Finance, the 945000 for the remediation of historical, historical contaminants at Gould Manor. Is there a motion to accept? Laura. Laura, okay. Second? I'll, I'll second it, Cindy. Um, Bill, you're still on the call, right? I am. Yes, I am. Yeah, okay. Just want to make sure, because I know that a lot of times you have those comments. Um, all, right, all those in favor of the 944000 for the remediation of the historical contaminants Aye. at Gould Manor? Okay. Anyone Aye. opposed? Extensions, none. Okay, so that passed. Okay, there's two more items. Um, number seven, I'm sorry, one more item. The other one was tabled. Seven, which is the last item we're going to talk about, which is number 10 on the agenda, Laura. And that was to act upon the following sense of the body resolution. So there's nothing to really vote on. It was just um, recommended by Marcy Spoiler, Spoiler and Jill Bergara um, to, to um, discuss the pollinator pathway um, for Fairfield and the recognition that the town gets as a result of this. Kind of reminded me of like Tree City USA. Remember, Bill, like when all the, we'd get that sign in your neighborhood if you had a lot of dogwood trees? <laughs> right, right. We were at the beach. I don't so know probably, that one. Oh. It's like we all wanted to be Tree City USA, and now you drive through New England, oh. and there's like these old signs that are like kind of rusted that have like a dog dogwood <laughs> on them. So um, this kind of reminded me of that, except a lot more updated. So uh, is there a motion to, I guess, to recommend? Well, you, uh, I'll, I'll make the motion. Okay, so well. What are we doing, one. motion to recommend? This, it's like a recommendation got, that we promote the um, yeah. pollinator pathway. Promote to promote the pollinator. Yeah, there's okay. nothing to vote on because there's no money nothing being to vote. Motion. Right. Okay, so I'll who made the that. motion? Will make the motion? and myself. Now, um, is there any discussion? Because I know before the meeting started, a few of us were talking about, um, and I do agree that it sounded in some respects as some kind of a mandate that I didn't like, but I know it's not a mandate. But some of the it's not a mandate. It's very strong, mm -hmm. and I was like, and it did feel yeah. as though some people wouldn't have the ability to um, use pesticides, or you know, it's like a kind of a personal choice. 
And I think this is just a recommendation to our citizens, our residents, but not any kind of bind. It's, yeah. They don't not a it. binding mandate, right. No. It's like a verbal I think agreement. It's a, I think it's a, yeah, I think it's a great idea. I think, you know, they're encouraging and imploring and recommending. I, I, I do think we should we should give some con- consideration to those individuals and, and or businesses that make their living landscaping, and there's a lot of them in town. Uh, but I think it's a great idea, and I, you know, it night, buddy. seems like it makes sense for the environment, and I like the very holistic yeah. and I like the very holistic Love approach. Um, so, anyway, okay. that's, that's where I stand. I, I, I applaud them for their efforts. And, right. And yeah. um, if it doesn't adversely impact anybody who makes their living, I can yeah. yeah. move on. I'm, I'm voting. So make sure we include Bill's comment regarding that he encouraged the exploration of it is great, but that, you know, it's we have to look out for the landscapers that are part of our community as well and to protect them and their rights. And Perfect. I agree with well that said, statement Cindy. perfectly. Yep. yep. Thank you. And, <clears throat> and good night to Matt Ambrose's children. Kiss hug. I love <laughs> you. I'm sorry. I thought I was on mute. No, no, not at all. Are you kidding me? That's what we're, we're doing this for our families in the future. Um, <laughs> Okay, so um, I'd like to, um, so we're not going to really vote on that, so it's a sense of the body that we, we, we appreciate it. So, you know what, take out Will and my first and second on that, because mm-hmm. it's really just a, oh, so we don't need, we okay. wanted to hear the presentation, and we, you know, we're all for hearing more about it, but we're not all sold on, like, how it's going to work yet. We don't know. Um, all right, so I'm going to ask for a motion to adjourn the meeting. It is um, 9.52 p.m. Anyone okay. want to make I'll a motion? I'll make a motion, Bill. All right, Bill, make a motion. Or was that Matt? Yep, that was me, Matt. Yeah. Bill and, Matt. and then both, Matt. Both of us. Sounds yeah. good. All I'll second it then. I, I, I. Double motion. All right, All right. Okay. have a great night, and I'm going to be signing off and not recording anymore. Thanks. Good night. Okay. Good night, guys. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thanks, Cindy, Bye. for doing Bye. this. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.